Don't miss any of the action at Oceanside, Chula Vista, Torrey Pines, and many more San Diego schools. Download the free UT Preps app on Google Play or the Apple App Store. Hey San Diego, Christian Pedersen here with SDPI. Thank you very much for checking in with us. We are in the gym of the Carlsbad Lancers because, oh, you know, Playoff times mean big games, but this one is extra big. We got La Jolla, Carlsbad, two of the top teams in the entire country duking it out for a spot in the finals. Let's see who punched their ticket. Number four, La Jolla taking on number one, Carlsbad. The big game that everyone's been waiting for. Let's get to it. Great crowd turned out, great atmosphere. Thank you very much, Lancers, for a wonderful event. But it's easy to cheer when you got guys like this. Jack Gokin gets it started. La Jolla, though, coming to play. Chase Blackwell! Power meets power. This was an all-out slugfest of heavyweight title proportions. Troy Cassidy, bang! More from Cassidy later, but game one belongs to the Vikings. Jake Northrup, put back right there. That's a dunk. That finishes out. We're on to game two. This one, Carlsbad tied up some loose ends and got to work. And Jack Oaken brings the fire right there. Carlsbad proving to be too much to handle in the second one. Sometimes it's the soft touch. That's Braden Wowman's. Another man you need to know, Kellen Pete. Carlsbad takes game two. So we draw even one game apiece heading into the third. La Jolla coming out, firing, bang. Too much to handle, or is it? Can they? No, whoop, nope. La Jolla goes ahead, but this one was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Another one from Northrop. He provided a lot of firepower for the Vikings, but the third game again turns Carl's bad way. Grant Holvey had himself a coming out party in this third quarter. Not that you need to know who he is. Oh, he's just the best volleyball player in the county, maybe. Get some more help from Gokin. Carlsbad takes game three. Game four, we go tied 20-20. La Jolla getting an advantage. La Jolla going up, but Carlsbad right there to fight their way back. Courtesy of some blocks this time, Olvi. Oh, and then of course, you know, let's tie it, why not? That's Troy Cassidy. So tied 24 all, we push now to see who can get a two point advantage. La Jolla strikes first, Chase Blackwell. Silences the crowd a little bit, but they started roaring just seconds later as Holby comes swerving in. Tied game again at 25. Carlsbad looking for a lead, and of course they get it from their main man. Who gets them the finisher? Bang! Troy Cassidy, that's how you send your team to the finals. Just listen to what the crowd had to chant afterwards. And then uh, me and Jake, we have good chemistry. I knew we were going to run the one ball, and I knew I was going to put it away. And it felt great. It felt great hitting that ball, that last ball. It feels really good. We've worked really hard to uh, you know, get to this point. Um, we've had our ups and downs, um, but uh, you know, we, we've been working really hard in practice. This has been our main goal to get to CIF finals. So uh, You got the team? We're so fun because six, down 16-11 coming back. Um, that was amazing. And just you know the feeling of it was awesome just to know that we can come back at any time and that's good known for the finals that we can do that just to get it done. So that's our goal. Um, for me this is the third year I played in the CIF final and the same with Calum Pete number eight so I think just just to win it that's our goal that's been our, like since day one we just have established we want to win CIF and I think that just what's going to take us to win it is the like, 10 seniors we have experience and everything which is awesome.